Happy Saturday to each and every single one of you lovely people that clicked on this video. And today we're going to be playing the 72 second mapping experiment challenge that Run Think Shoot Live uploaded. Uh, it's the challenge was to make a level from start to finish that lasts only 72 seconds, but you had to make that level in 72 hours. So pretty interesting. And speaking of finishing in 72 seconds, there's my intro. And sorry if I look like trash, by the way. I'm I just woke up. Yeah, my goal will just be to give you guys some feedback, the developers of these. I'm not expecting anything crazy. I mean, 72 hours to complete anything is not a lot of time, particularly when it comes to like game design and stuff. So let's try it out. There's 14 entries. First one is called Prison Break. I have an idea of what's about to happen. Don't you? It's like a premonition. I figured. Okay. Run. Immediately run. Okay. It's a little laggy. Might have overdone it on the NPCs, my friends. Maybe a lot. It's the Holocaust. I'm okay with. Where do I run? Ah! Oh, you gotta get the health kits. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, I kind of get it. So your goal is just to get the little green things. I'm a monkey. I know exactly what to do. I Colors. Green. And pretty basic geometry, but that's okay. I'm not expecting much. Okay, did I escape? What is this? Aren't you concerned as I am that there's a void over there? Okay. All right. So first map, pretty quick. You're just running out of a prison. Nothing really inventive there. Um, uh, I would say keep it a little less on the NPCs. It's a little chaotic. I wasn't really sure what was going on. So uh, let's go on to entry number two, elevator. Oh, God. We're going to get stuck. Or I'm going to break it with my my fat ass. Just off to work. Okay. No, not the briefcase! Save me! What the fudge? Ow! Briefcase hit me. What do I do with the briefcase? Maybe I need it. Whoa! It's like some Inception stuff. Don't eat the brown acid. It's pretty interesting. I like the uh, the way you're playing around with the geometry and stuff. Wow. Ooh. You're tripping me up, man. Ah, back where I left you. Right where I left you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty clever. Um, obviously no real story to that or anything. It's more or less just, you know, like, check this out. You know, whoa. Uh, I like the, the, the thought behind that. That was pretty interesting. Um, just a cool little experiment. Like, that's what it's all about is just experimental stuff. So, overall, I'd say that was pretty, f that was at least interesting, you know. It made me smile and laugh. The next one, meet it up. Meet up with the rebels. Okay. No, not again. Get out of my way. I like the detail they did for just 72 hours in this one so far. Enough with... Holy crap. So many gosh dang freaking enemies. Ah! Let me out. What does that button do? Ew. Another elevator. This one with padded ceilings so I don't end up hurting my head this time, which is nice. Hey! How's it going, Baldy? Cool, how's it going guys? I did it, I did it. 
Okay. Yeah, but do you have a key? That might be more useful in this situation. And we're stuck in a hallway with a bunch of bald guys. Cool. Map by Taz. Thank you for playing. Cool. Um, again, nothing really too inventive there. It's just you fighting a lot of enemies really quickly to get into an elevator, which is fine. I like the detail in the hallway. Uh, the lighting is pretty good. I liked the charred guy on the chair. Made me think of barbecue. Maybe I'm just hungry. Overall, though, not bad, Taz. I liked it. You know. All right, entry four. Move it, maggot. How dare you? Very rude. Oh shit! It's like give me opposing force flashbacks. Uh uh. No, you ain't doing it. I got gotcha. you. Ah. Oh, is it? It's like a race. Is he gonna? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, all right. Time to get serious, guys. Kill the crabs. Oh, do I have to kill all the enemies before proceeding? Ow. What kind of <laughs> training course is this? Who just put zombies in a room for me to kill? Oh, grab it again. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. No. Uh oh. Hey, come on. No. Leeches. This is the most messed up training course ever. Okay, I think I got it this time though. I have to wait for that. I have to be patient. I'm not a patient person. I like the idea of this so far. This is kind of fun. I get to race somebody. And the music just makes it so much better. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for the crowbar. Right, let's go. Let's go. I think you can just skip those head grabs. Die! We'll beat your ass. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Come on down. This time I won't jump in the leech-infested waters. What did I? Did I hook it? Come on! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Dang it! Give me the crowbar! Just come on! Amazon Prime instant shipping. Thank you. I break the boards like a like I'm fucking I'm a sensei. And it's karate dojo, but I have a crowbar, so it's a messed up dojo. <laughs> I like how he died. He just went, ooh. Yeah, so far this is pretty inventive. I like the sense of pace. It's like really making you want to move fast. Okay, this time I'm going to pull it. I'm not going to throw the hook. I'm going to be patient. I'm a patient man. Okay. There we go. We got it. I win! Woo! Well, I'll be damned. Good job, Gordon. I know. Hey, that was pretty cool. I like that one. See, that was that was one inventive. I love how he uh, worked with the the other NPC, the citizen model or whatever, and made it do all that animation. Uh, got it to, you know, all the scripting involved with that. It's pretty interesting. The sense of pace. I like how it really actually pushed you to run instead of just like saying, "All right, run," and you run out, and it's just a calamity of of terror. And combine smacking people and enemies and stuff. It's no spam. He created a sense of pressure with just, you know, some really ba with a basic premise. And so I'd say that's pretty interesting so far. I like that one a lot. Uh, I wish I knew who the creator of that was. Whoever made it, you're awesome. All right, entry five convenient exit. I don't want to give birth yet. Okay, I know where this is going. Been here before. Put the weight on one end. Here's some fat bricks. Okay. <coughs> nice. Okay. Gotta hop up. I like the lens flare stuff. That's cool. And I take it we gotta use these. 
they laid it out for us nice and neat there. Um, they introduced the premise. Us as the player know exactly what to do. Aha, uh -huh. very sneaky. So that just introduced a new premise. Oh shit. Um, I wonder if I need this? I'm gonna activate it just in case I do. Stack my way up. Ah! Okay, what am I missing there? Convenient exit. The window? Okay. okay let's go a little bit faster this time. Yeah, so first puzzle's pretty generic. I mean, it's a Half-Life 2 player. Everyone knows that one, but nothing wrong with that. I like the de the, the lighting. It sets a nice mood. I need that box. Oh, shit! Dang it! Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I have to stack? Okay, I'm gonna try one more time on the stacking. I mean, that's the logical thing to do. Yep, okay. I just screwed it up the first time. Ooh, beer! Hey! Almost got drunk. Thanks for the reward. At least the beer wasn't a lie. Unlike in Portal! Sweet! We did it. Okay, that was interesting. I like the, the puzzle mechanics there. Um, you had to think a little bit. Uh, the details, pretty nice. I liked the, the atmosphere. Uh, nothing special though, but overall, solid entry. Uh, convenient exit. Right, let's check out freeware. I can tell by the thumbnail this one looks pretty basic. Uh, let's find out. Maybe I'm wrong. Get to the spot. I'm on the spot. Kill the elite. Okay. Holy sh! Those guys are tough. Oh wait, I did it. Okay, survive. Oh, boulders. <laughs> this is messed up Indiana Jones shit. All right, run. Okay, the premise is interesting so far. Bunch of little mini challenges. Be as fast as you can. Find him. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Okay, they all look the same. They all look the same. They all look the same. Where's he at? Hey, it's G-Man. Found him. Hey, there's my briefcase. This map will end soon. Bullshit. I don't buy that. Worth a damn when you put that there. Nice little red herring. Oh my goodness. How'd you make this? This is pretty crazy. Ah, I'm scared! I got dark. That's kind of interesting, though. I like how it's uh, a new thing every, you know, six, seven seconds or so. It made you have to adapt. Uh, you know, you're looking for new possibilities, keeping your mind open for different things, the bricks in the wall, you know. It's, uh, it encouraged really fast interaction, which I thought was pretty cool. And I like the find the... G-Man thing, that was kind of unique too. A lot of these could be really cool if they're really flushed out and longer, I feel like. Um, cool, yeah, good map as well, actually. That was, that was, yeah, that thumbnail though. The thumbnail game, I would work on that. <laughs> All right, Cliff Confusion. So yeah, solid entry. I like freeware, that was good. All right. I'm prepared to be confused on a cliff. The card system that leads down below is broken. You must search the top of this mountain to find a way to fix it. You only have 72 seconds to solve this. You may require to replay more than once, as each playthrough may let you explore for new solutions. Oh god. Oh my god, this is giving me vertigo. Okay. I'm gonna search the top of this mountain to find a way to fix it. Okay. Hopefully that intro didn't cost me any time. Probably should have checked out the card system before just running off trying to find shit to fix it with. It's like I don't even know what I'm trying to fix. Hey, crowbar on a porta potty.
Anything useful here? I think this playthrough, I'm just gonna like see if I can find anything of use that I can then tie together when I actually go and look at the minecart system. So there's a church that we can break into. There's another thing over there. Let's see what's in here, just for reference. We're gonna have to replay this more than once for sure. Okay, we got beer. Ethosaur. I know you. Uh, let's try that one again. This time I'm gonna use the crowbar and get started a little faster instead of like dumbly staring at the sign <laughs> like an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I ain't an idiot. All right. Okay, I'm gonna look at the minecart system this time. What is needed? Engine needs gas. Okay, is that it? Okay. Let's get gas. Let's go to the porta potty and extract methane. Using the beer bottles. I'm like Heisenberg. I'm a fucking genius. All right. I like the detail so far. It's. I like the exploration factor too. None of the other experimental maps had this. Um, encourages you to explore. I feel a little stressed. Interesting staircase there. God damn. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a battery. You can get fix it now. What? That doesn't make sense. Is that English? No! I'm gonna have to edit this. Let's see what's in here. Because I'm not gonna be able to fix it in time. Gas! All right, I know what to do now, guys. We can do it. All right. Yeah, just put this on. By the way, I just want to give a quick shout out uh, to Dolmo the Douglas. He's—I don't know if you guys have seen some of his videos, but he consistently uploads a bunch of Half-Life content, and gives his commentary, and his thoughts on level design are pretty, pretty unique and interesting. And he's a pretty well-spoken guy. I like the dude. Maybe I'll put him in the description. Go check him out, Dolmo the Douglas. I like. Uh, <laughs> putting his videos on sometimes while I'm at work and just like listen to him talk about maps that's uh, nerdy as hell but <laughs> it's you know I don't do much mapping nowadays anymore myself so it's just fun to see what other people are thinking about it who are more like involved in the scene and stuff I like the mountains too oh shit are we gonna make it All right, I think we got it. We did it! Boom! All right, so it took you a couple tries. I like the the exploration factor involved with that. I liked how it's kind of a tie two and two together. You run up to something, gather an opinion on it, run to another part of the map, find something that affects it, you can go back, interact with it, get what you need. Maybe you don't get it in time, but now you know that particular piece of the puzzle, so you can explore another part of the map, figure that part out, combine them all together, and come to a conclusion, which is, boom, you got the gas, you got the battery, you got the elevator working. So, good job, Ethosaur. I like the I like the design, too. Looked pretty decent, too. Pretty large map for uh, 72 hours. Like, pretty impressed with some of these. Bootstrap. Bootstrap Bill. We're gonna confront Will's, Bill's, Will's dad from Pirates of Caribbean. Borealis reactor is overloading. Shoot. Hello. We don't have any time. You need to match up the colors on the monitors to the buttons surrounding the reactor. If you don't stop us, we can't find him. Okay. Match the colors. We had some voice acting there. Okay, this one's yellow. Let's make it yellow. Boom. Okay, it's yellow. What do I... What color is this one? Am I an idiot? Also a nice... Uh... Oh, all of them to the same one. I'm stupid, 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 stupid. Okay, we got it. Oh, did we? What the hell am I doing? Oh! Sorry, guys. Uncle Dreddy is kind of an idiot. What's back here? I think I've already screwed the pooch on this one. Screw you! Die! 
What is all this stuff for? I like it though. Purple! Oh! Okay, so each section has a different colored piece that we have to kind of explore and find and then change that particular corresponding piece to that color. Okay, okay. Forgive me. You know, I'm, I'm working my way through it. Interesting, the adding voice acting at the beginning. Yeah, bootstrap. When did bootstrap become a young adult amateur voice actor? Bootstrap, Hello? Bill. We don't have any time. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, you got me motivated with that <laughs> with that tone. Yeah. Hey, kudos for throwing voice acting in there, by the way. I'm just being a, a goof. Yeah, this one's obviously yellow, right? Or would it be blue? Because the lighting's blue. I'm gonna pretend like that's not the case. And if this one was purple, I believe. Oh shit. But I'm gonna confirm that. Okay, interesting idea so far of having to run through. Checking, the, yeah, it was purple. I like this so far. And I like the, the music. It's uh, got me all pepped up, jazzed up, ready to go. Oh, Schneiser! Alright, let's check this one. What the hell? What color is this one? No! Okay, we know one is purple though. Okay, purple. Let's find out what this one is. By the way, if you haven't played my Bossville entry uh, that I submitted for the last uh, competition for the Hammer Cup, go download Bossville, play it. Mine's was a day in Crab Lab. And it is marvelous. You make a new friend, so. Always worth making a new friend. Alright, let's haul ass. Okay, don't know what the purpose of that is, but fuck it. P uh, piss yellow. That's how my brain works. Alright, now what's this one? Damn it! Red! Okay. Okay, we got it this time. Now we've discovered all of the possibilities, all the colors. Took us a couple tries. Now we just need to correspond it. Okay, so. Alrighty. I'm ready. I like how it gives you a little bit of time to uh, get your bearings, though. Like, check out the monitors, see what they do. That's what this time is allotted for, I'm assuming. Detail on the little reactor is kind of neat. And I like how you have to explore. There's another exploration factor there, which is pretty cool. Purple. Piss yellow. Red. Okay. What the hell is this? I did it! I did it! I done it. Heck yeah, did it. So yeah, again, interesting puzzle mechanics there. I like the exploration factor. The replay value is interesting there. Um, detail wise, pretty nice. Uh, and overall, that was one of the more, I guess, unique entries so far. That one and Move It Maggot, pretty good. I liked Freeware a lot too so far. All right, entry nine, Dawn. We're getting through these. Just got a couple more to go. This video is gonna take a hell of a long time to render. I'm already scared. After destroying a combine base, you need to escape. Uh oh. Hurry. Ah! I don't know if I should have gotten those supply crates or not, but I'm just running. Give me your weapon, or not. Oh my god, I probably need a weapon, don't I? Yeah, I should probably stop and get some health. 
Okay, so... I like this escape a little bit better than some of the other ones, for sure. Yeah, you probably should use those so you get resources. And you don't die as quick. God! I need fast weapon switch. Die, you... Mother... You look like ghosts. Why do they look translucent? We made it. Okay, so Jan Kazankia. Is that from like the Oh, what's that Hare Krishna scripture? Yeah, Bhagavad Gita. Anyways, so that was random. Yeah, um as far as the chase scenes go, that was probably my favorite one just because the winding streets, that's a fun setting. Uh, I like how you have to interact by jumping out windows. You're not spammed. You're instead kind of forced into almost kind of like a rat maze with really narrow corridors. You had to utilize resources effectively, so the thought process there was interesting. And overall, it's probably the best chase scene I've had so far in this uh, mapping competition. Oh, Sewer Surfer with the Garden Gnome. I'm excited. That's the next one. Hopefully this feedback's good. I don't know if it is or not, but the combine is on your tail. There's a boat waiting for you at the end of the sewer. Be fast. I don't have a tail. Do I? I look down. I have a tail. Okay, okay. Screw you, combine. <laughs> okay, interesting. Kind of like the the hobbits on, in the barrels. And they're floating down the river. I'm like trying to hit them and I can't. Ooh, we got supplies. I wish that, you know what would be fun is if the river moved a little bit faster in my opinion. Oh shoot. That's what I get for not looking. Okay, so I died in my previous retry as well, but I've noticed a couple more things that the mappers kind of laid out for us there, like more explosive barrels, more things to utilize, um, you know, stuff that I was missing in my first and second playthrough. You know, I just have to be a bit more observant, I guess, which is a problem for me, I've discovered. Damn, I'm gonna die. Give me my stuff! No, I'm gonna die. God damn it. I'm surprised I hit that guy. You see that? That was like. Okay, I have no. No sprint. Woohoo! Uh. Keep moving, Dr. Freeman. Okay. Sweet. We made it. Okay, yeah. So that one took a couple tries. Top of Jaro 77. Interesting idea. I think it would have been fun if the water moved faster just to increase the, the fun capacity of that level. But I like how you left little uh, barrels and, you know, supply crates and stuff. Hence sewer supply, I'm sure. But... You know, I miss this kind of stuff because I was born blonde, uh, so you can thank my parents for that. But, yeah, overall, pretty creative. I like how you kind of discover more things uh, associated on the sidelines, those barrels and stuff, after replaying it once or twice. Um, overall, it was okay. I'd give it a good, solid alrighty. Fast days. We're coming up near the end here. Fast days. Okay. Fast days. By X Blah. Alright. This is uh, some old timey um, type <laughs> movie set thing. It's kind of interesting. What the fuck? I should probably not stand on that, should I? 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's spikes behind me. Okay. So I should jump and be, like, careful. Should I move forward? Am I retarded? The answer is most certainly yes. Okay, yeah, I can't. Oh my god! I do it! Blah! X blah! Alright, let's try one more time. Okay, this time I'm not gonna move like an idiot. Okay, so you gotta jump those too. You can't just let yourself be carried away. Something burped. That's when I die, usually now. Okay, I think I'm just an idiot and I'm getting pushed in. Alright, let's try again. Pretty creative so far, though. I like the idea of it. It's gonna be some, like, Charlie Chaplin, Three Stooges vibes. Okay, so we got through one wave. No, what the hell? Something is killing me. What is it? Is it that explosive barrel? Does it explode or something? I see, like, one... Goes and shows up. See, yeah, there's a barrel there. Fuck you. Yep. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, shit. Ah, jump again. Hey, that's pretty cool though. Go X blah. Very, very funny and clever and. Annoying to dummies like me. Shit! What? What? What the hell? No. Barrel. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, something, something. What the f- No! Damn, this is only, this is trial and error, and it's actually pretty difficult. At least for me, I'm an idiot. I don't know about you, PhD barrel jumpers, in the audience watching this video. Or, uh, I don't even know what that means. Okay, box. N what the? F Come on! I'm a smart person. I've been playing Half-Life for God knows how long at this point. I got this. Okay, don't be an idiot. Okay. 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 Oh shoot. Okay, I take it we got a double stack. Fun of a bitch. You gotta be careful with your space that you're allotted as well because you're right next to a bunch of. Evil bastard spikes. Ooh, okay. Barrel. Ah! Oh my god! Through the flaming hoop! Oh. What is happening? Barrel! No! I failed! No, not now! Not now! Ah! Give me- Oh, I like the de- Holy shit, that's pretty cool. x you're a beast. Very nice detail and stuff there, my, my friend. Oh, shit! Fuck off! Okay, this time... Be ready for the barrel. Oh, that's pretty cool. What the fuck? Son of a bitch. Come on, man. Fuck off. Sometimes the physics doesn't necessarily work to your benefit. Okay. Shit, I keep... Okay, we made it. Okay, we got through that stage. Holy crap.
Oh. Xply, I think you just took a part of my soul and wrung it like a dish towel and then put it back in the fry, the fryer. Yeah, that was definitely the most creative and well done one so far. Um, I love the, the, the entire concept of it is fantastic. Um, you know, really unique there. Um, it was definitely a challenge. Like that took me a solid 15 times, 20 times or something. I'm really stupid and I'm, I'll, I'll fuck up physics and stuff like that. Like I'm not good with stacking of the boxes, maybe slightly too fast paced. Um, but you know, overall having it being challenging, isn't necessarily a, a bad thing at all. And I think overall that was pretty unique. It gave me a, 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 an anxious feeling in my gut though. Like I know that's the best one, but it didn't, it didn't put a smile on my face. I was saying fuck the whole time, which might've been the, the goal in which case kudos. All right, coordinate 72. Get in! What the hell? We're in Nova Prospect, apparently. You're gonna have to go in and stabilize the core yourself. Come on, come on! Stabilize the core? Oh God. Come on! Okay, we need energy balls. Is that what this is about? Oh, we gotta dodge him. Okay. Holy shit. Um. Electric water. Oh my god. What? What do I do? Get over to the pipe. What? It seems if I go this way. Can I just go this way? What is this way? So you can't pull energy balls at all with the gravity gun, which is... Fuck! So you have two different routes to go down, I'm assuming? Okay, let's, let's try this one. I like the idea of this one better. It's me just charging in a suit charger so I don't die the whole time. So I can't kill the combine because I can't grab energy balls. Unless I'm stupid. Am I a dumbass? Why can't I grab balls? Now I can grab balls. And people! Alright, so I like the Citadel theme we're going with here. Ow. Ah, oh, shoot. I should probably kill him before I get on this thing. Or as I'm going, every single one that I can. Uh, interesting how he just ripped Nova Prospects. Uh, level and this looks like a Half-Life 2 area as well that he ripped. Ripping, ripping is a bad word. He, um... Definitely copied and pasted something though, right? Holy shit, I can't do anything here, man! Alright, I'll be back when I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Okay. Niker 107, hello, by the way. Come on, Gordon. Okay, let's Get try it one more time. Alright, now we know what to do. So that's just my thought process. Uh, going through it is like... What is, I'm sure there's another point. I guess you can go two ways if you wanted. The way to the right is bizarre, and I'm not sure if 
I'm missing something there, and it's kind of hard to do this while you're recording and you're on a time limit and you're trying to comment. Um, you know, not to belay it, but I'm kind of mentally handicapped in that respect, where I'm trying to narrate instead of think and be smart. And you know, I'm not that smart. I'm just kidding. But yeah. Um, second path. I don't know what's going on there. I really don't. I swear to God, I hope I don't have to do anything over there either. God damn! You're gonna have to go in and stabilize. Stabilize what? What? Okay, I'm trying one more time. This time I'm going this way because I did that one over there and it did nothing, so. I'm trying this one more time, and if it doesn't work, I give up. Fuck yourself! So that's the combine, not Unite Care, I love you. Come get me now. Okay, now I'm gonna suit up real quick. Trying to do this tactfully if possible. I don't know if it's working too well, but I'm gonna try. Fuck! Missed that one. Come on, balls! Okay, that one, I, that doesn't make sense to me, that one. Um, uh, on, too difficult, too confusing. Um, not effective, in my opinion. Not well executed. Okay, get through as many rooms as he can. Go! I can do that. Hey! Alright, unique so far. I like the challenge of get through as many rooms as you can. Lag. That was weird. Maybe it's a feature. Hey, watch the TV. Ooh, exit. Is it really the exit? Did I win? I just stand here until it's the timer is done. I don't know. Am I missing some? What's going on? Oh, okay. There's the timer. It's kind of weird that you have to wait until the the thing you know, gets to the end, though. Uh, I like the various scenery and stuff that you have to run through. Like, there's people watching TV. Some of them you gotta jump. You know, differentiated each time. Pretty simple, effective. So I liked that. That was not bad. And let's the last but not least, the bonus inevitable. It's inevitable that I'd play this bonus map. Upon sighting a face spider, stay in the light at all times. Locate incendiary such as emergency flame. Use incendiary to burn the face spider. Oh god. So already slightly more horror themed. It's got an atmosphere to it. <clears throat> okay, very large, confusing so far. I like the detail. I just hate feeling like I'm on a time limit, you know?
bro. Creepy. Very nice detail, though. Holy shit. What happened? Uh, face batter got me. Okay. Oh, I need a flare for that. Okay. Unless the face spider just kills you. Oh! Holy crap! Oh, that scared me. Jesus. Okay. Spiders. Spider killed the lights after 72 seconds. You need to find some shortcuts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, man, that made my heart jump. Understand not the purpose of any of this. There's no real explanation given. Jesus, I see the face spiders. Like it's just kind of running you through, and not in a really intuitive way, if that makes sense. Not necessarily in an enjoyable way, either. I'm just kind of guessing. Um. I don't know. I really like the concept on that, but I don't know if it worked in, in effect. It's just kind of confusing. Um, too big. I would have kept it smaller. Okay, that's it. Okay. Overall, pretty decent challenge. Some really good, some not so great. Uh, I liked Move It Maggot. That was pretty good. I also liked um, uh, Fast Days by x -Plot. That was amazing as well. Inevitable, I got to give you some, some credit just because of the visuals and stuff. Even though in execution, I don't know if it necessarily worked. Um... Nikers coordinate 72 that one iffy I don't I don't I just didn't get that one at all I don't I don't understand it but you know whatever um and overall I'd say good job by pretty much everybody um enjoyed the the maps some of them were frustrating but I had a good time and I you know overall kudos to you guys' creativity keep up making the maps and stuff because that was pretty awesome you guys are some good little good little mappers out there if you like that video just subscribe and like and all that stuff i should probably get dressed for the day and i hope you have a good rest of yours so adios Pew!